Good day to you. Today is a wonderful opportunity to learn about cycle. We are going to be learning something about elementary cycle. It is going to be very easy. I tell you mathematics is a game. Just follow the rules and you will always get it. So cycle is what we are going to be talking about today. Mm. Cycle is a continuous dot. Now, there are two things we will learn about cycle today. We will learn about area of the cycle, which is pi r square, and the um, circumference of the cycle. Circumference of the cycle, which is 2 pi r. Okay, are we together? So, basically, this is a cycle. Mm. At any point from the center to any part of the cycle, it is called a radius. So, it means the radius can as well be here, it can as well be downward, it can be any of the sides. So, a line from any part of the cycle to the center of the cycle is called a radius. And the line that divides the cycle into two equal half is what we call a diameter. Now, if from the center to one side is a radius and from the center to the other side is still another radius, it means that two radius will give you a diameter. So the relationship between a radius and a diameter is this. Diameter equal to two radius. So it is possible that in any question you may be given diameter and you may not be given radius. And you be given radius, you may not be given diameter. Now, if you are to find a diameter and you have radius, it means you multiply by what? Two. Now, if you are given a radius and you are to find diameter, since d equal to 2r, it therefore follows that r will be divided both sides by 2. That is to say, a radius is half of a diameter. Are we together? On area of a cycle. Remember that we have learned the relationship between a radius and a diameter. A diameter is two of a radius and a radius is half of a diameter. And remember from our formula for area of a cycle, I said area equal to pi r squared, where a stands for the area, pi is a constant and normally we use 22 over 7 or 3.142. Of course, R is the radius. So, this is the area formula for area of a cycle. Consider this table. This is area, this is radius, this is diameter. Let us do a little exercise with this table. We are, we are given where well, we are not given the area, the radius is given, the diameter is not given, we can actually find both the area and the diameter. Can we quickly do that now? Yes, sir. Good. So, when R equal to 7, let's say it is in centimeters now, it can be in meters or whatever you are given. So, if I record to 7 centimeters, the area of the circle here will be what? Pi r squared. Now, slot in your pi. Your pi is 22 over 7. And what is your r? Your r is 7. So, you slot in your 7 square. Now, this means 22 over 7 times 7 times 7, of which 7 will cancel a 7. So you are left with 22 times 7. Of course, 22 times 7, this is 14, take away 1. 2 times 7, which is another 14 plus 1, making 15. 
So I have my 154 centimeter square. Anytime you calculate an area, you leave your answer in square. If it is in meter, it will be meter square. If it is in centimeter, it will be centimeter square. Now, which means the area here is 154 centimeter square. So from the relationship of D equal to 2R, what will be my diameter? My diameter is going to be D equal to 2 times 7, which is equal, equal to 14 centimeters. So here I have my 14 centimeters. A quick one. I hope you are following. I hope I'm not confusing you. Let's see the second one. Here, the area is given as 38.5 centimeter square. And that should be square now. Centimeter square. And of course, the area of the circle equal to what? Pi r squared. Uh huh. The r is not given, which means you're going to look for the r. When you get your r, you will look for the d. Good. So if the area is 38.5, equal to 22 over 7 times your r squared. Now, 38.5 is the same thing as what? 38 whole number 1 over 2. Uh-huh. Equal to 22 over 7 times per r squared. I'm going to convert this to an, a, a, a fraction now. A, should I call it, uh, what do you call it now? Is it proper fraction or improper fraction? When the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we call it an improper fraction. So we're going to convert, convert this to an improper fraction. 38 times 2 plus 1 over 2. So 38 times 2 is going to be 6. 7 plus uh, 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is going to be 77 over 2. So here we have 77 over 2 equal to 22 over 7 times r squared. To find my r, I'm going to divide both sides by 22 over 7. So here I'll have 77 divided by 2 divide by 22 over 7 equal to 22 over 7 divide by 22 over 7 times my r squared. So, whenever we are to, uh, converting this division to multiplication, then we have to reverse the fraction. So, I'm going to have 77 over 2 times 7 over 22 equal to 22 over 7 times 7 over 22 times r squared. So this follows that here we cancel here and here we cancel here. So I will be left with r squared. Here, uh -huh, something can go between this and this. 11 can go in 22 and can go into 77. 11 into 22 is 2. 11 to 77 is 7. So, yes, I have my 7 times 7 is, I'm left with 7 times 7 over 2 times 2, equal to r squared. Whoa! Okay, let's quickly clean this. I hope you're following. I hope you're following. So, I am left with uh, 7 times 7 is 49 2 times 2 is 4 equal to r squared mm -hmm. for those that followed me on the on the last edition i did on finding square root i told you something that whenever the square here is to be taken away a square root will appear here and i told you the reason that the power is being multiplied by 1 over 2 here is raised to power 1 times 1 over 2 these two will cancel these two so the square will go you have r and now this will be 49 over 4 
raised to power half by law of indices anything raised to power half is the square root so we have 49 in the square root and yes so now we can find our r yes square root of 49 is 7 and square root of 4 is what 2 aha so it means our r equal to 7 over 2 or if you like 3 whole number 2 into 7 is 3 whole number 1 over 2 centimeters so i'm going to write my Three whole number one over two centimeters here. Then how do I find my diameter? If okay, if r if r equal to seven over two, then diameter will be equal to what? Two times r. Remember so. Our diameter in this case will be 2 times 7 over 2, which is equal to what now? It is 2 here, 1, 2 here, 1. So you're going to have 7 centimeters. Or if you like, 2 times 7 is still 14 over 2. 14 divided by 2 is still 7 centimeters. So I'm going to write my. 7 centimeters. Yes. So you can see that actually the diameter is twice of the radius. And the last but not the least on my table here. The area is not given. The radius is given. The diameter is not given. So area equal to pi r squared. My area now is going to be 22 over 7 times my R is 3 and half. 3 and half will be 3 times 2 plus 1 over 2, which is 7 over 2. So, I am going to have 7 over 2 squared. 7 over 2 squared now. So, A will be equal to 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 over 2 times 2. Now, this 7 will cancel 1 of the 7. And this 2 here, 1. This 2 here, 11. So I'm going to have 11 times 7 over... Uh, okay. Over 2. Yes. That's what I'm left with now. It's going to give me 77 over... 2. Okay. 2 into 7 is what? 2 into 7 is uh, 3. Remember 1, put it here, making 18 or uh, 17. Se 2 into 17 is 8. Remember what now? So, yes, 16. Yes. Remember, 1 over 2. So, my area is going to be what now? It's going to be 38 whole number, 1 over 2 centimeter squared. Or if you like, 38.5 centimeter squared. So, this place now is going to be 38.5 centimeter squared. So, what is going to be my diameter if my radius is 7 over 2? Of course, my diameter is going to be what? It's going to be 2 times 7 over 2. Just like the other one. 7 centimeters. Okay. The table is completed. I hope you have followed this edition. You can lay your hand on some questions anywhere. First uh, question, Petra, Common Entrance, Ugo, Siuko, anyone. Just lay your hands on anything that has to do with area of a cycle and boom, you're going to solve it on your own. 
See you next time. I'm going to teach you the circumference of a cycle. I remain 22D. Bye.